Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube land, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we have our next part of Who's Who Sinon Edition. If you haven't seen the first one where I go over and kind of briefly explain what this series is about, you can check out the video right about now. I cover, I believe it was Rain and Seven in the first video. So this video will be talking about Sinon. We have our top five and then we have five honorable mentions. Now, viewer discretion is advised. This is all my personal opinion. This is not to say that this is absolute or set in stone. This is just kind of my own opinions about the units that I'll be talking about. So let's go ahead and jump into a quest very quickly. And the first unit that we're going to start off with is Anniversary Sinon. Now, as you can see here, she has very long range. Uh, that is one great key about her. Uh, one thing that she kind of lacks is that she doesn't have a effect you know some units can debuff some can increase your attack increase your critical things of that nature she kind of really doesn't do much of anything so at as a base unit she's a good unit uh she was part of the jp anniversary um one year anniversary so she was the first she was one of the first characters to have the combination switch introduced with her so that kind of makes her a very good solid foundation unit if you are so lucky to get her now let me go ahead and throw this up right here you will see um pirate Sinon. oh wait Let me go ahead and throw this up. So right here, you will see the Bath Sinon. Now, with Bath Sinon, uh, I don't have this unit, so I can't really show her off. But Bath Sinon, she is a Lance Sinon, so that already makes her different. She's not the normal range, you know, gunner or the archer Sinon that we're typically used to seeing. Uh, one thing with her is she does have global range and she does have the ability to put on a shield and negate one attack whether it's a parable or unparable attack she is an earth unit and she is pretty damn good to have especially if you have a good solid four star weapon for uh the bath scene on now the next unit that i'm going to talk about i unfortunately do not have this one is going to be pirate Sinon. now pirate Sinon, she does have two abilities or two effects she is a four star unit so she cannot combo out that is something that does need to be mentioned and she does not have the ability to be upgraded to a five star unit she has the ability or the effect to debuff the enemy and she can also increase the attack of herself and her allies so that alone is extremely good we also see in the current ranking event that she can frame lock the mob in such a way that she can get two ss3s off and then have somebody else come in and do some deeps for her now i don't know the particular strat i don't have this unit on this account i had her before and let me tell you she pumps out some pretty damn good damage as well now the next unit i think you can kind of see how this pattern is going to go along the next unit that i believe is going to be a top tier uh scene on unit uh, also coming in at number two is going to be poker scene on now i believe she does have the ability to give attack up to her and her party on top of that she has an ss3 i guess we should go to the next round so that you can see it on an enemy her ss3 i believe is global if not extremely close to global so that's one really good thing about her another thing is that you can double ss3 with her so as you can see here oh wow she pops up a card you one shot the mob depending on what quest it is and you kind of leap 
cast them, and then you get your damage off in that way. The pirate, or excuse me, the poker uh, units overall are very, very sought after, as well as the pirate units. So these two units can easily, easily be the number one unit. Now you say, Tug, how come, uh, how come they aren't the number one unit? Who, who's on the top of your list? So, like I said, this is personal, uh, this is a opinion, so I have always loved the Princess, uh, Sina. Now, before they even had the ability to, uh, parry, uh, I always preached, I always preached that Princess Sinon was the best Sinon just for the sheer fact that she can... Uh, move around. She has high mobility with her SS3. Now you say, Tug, what, what kind of, what, you know, what does that matter? Well, let me tell you this. If you're in such a situation where you are just autoing to build up your, uh, MP, then you're gonna have the mob walk into you slowly. Once they get to you, you can dash straight through them while debuffing them. And as you can see here, we kind of increase our attack just a little bit. So, those two things combined, the high mobility, the debuff, well, I guess three, and the attack increase is extremely good. I love her playstyle. You know, you, you sit here, you just throw some, uh, some auto attacks to regain your MP, then you let that mob come at you, you dash through them, maybe take a little step back, regain some more, then dash through them again. And on top of that, if we look at her uh, SS3 cost, you know, with depending on your gear, depending on what kind of weapons you're using. She's sitting at 50, 50 per SS3. If I go ahead and limit break her one time, I can get her to 300, over 300 MP, and she can use six SS3s without auto attacking one time. That to me, her overall gameplay, she just feels so good to use. Any Xenon, any ranged unit, that has high mobility or can create that distance is very very good and i love that about this princess Sinon. now we're gonna go ahead and hop into our top five honorable mentions so the first one uh that is a honorable mention the the fifth honorable mention like i said in my opinion is going to have to be the Christmas. Oh, hold on, let me. See. I got it. I got him backwards. I got him back. I almost, I almost spoiled it. Is going to be the Christmas scene on now. I do not have this unit, so I cannot show you her abilities. But she does kind of leap backwards and she throws out an arrow, so she does create a little bit of distance. She also has the ability to stun units after x amount of ss3 so that is something that's very good with the christmas the snow sniper scene on as you can see on the picture right here now the next one that is going to be the fourth honorable mention is going to be the new year's uh scene on i think this is called the uh something to do with swinging with love swinging a battle door with love seen on uh, i think something to that effect she does have the ability i believe it was a shield i believe it was a shield if i'm wrong let me know down in the comment section below but she also has the mobility that's kind of similar to the poker seen on so that high mobility very very good and she is a shield unit five star definitely cannot complain about that one now let's go ahead and head back into the game the next one is going to be Bikini, oh, is going to be Bikini scene on this scene on right here. Now she is sort of just a little bit bugged, it's kind of weird. Sometimes she gets off the correct animation, sometimes she doesn't. If you see here, she does have the ability to heal herself, and it is a flat heal. It is not a heal over time, so that's very good. Flat heals are definitely preferred over heal over times. Now the next thing with her, and probably the most important thing with her, is the sheer burst of damage that she can do as a four-star unit. If you were to come in, let's say you have, you know, let's say just for instance, Anniversary Xenon, you get the bow parry, you SS3 with the Anniversary Xenon, 
and switch into the bikini scene on that damage is going to be off the roof especially once you get a higher combo it's going to be madness so this scene on is definitely not the best because all she can do is heal but the pure damage that she has is definitely lovely now coming in at number two is going to be yukata Sina. now one thing with her is like let's say the mob was like right here at this patch of grass yukata Sinon can use her ss3 and still hit that patch of grass wherever she is on the map i can't remember for sure if it's uh, global range i never owned the unit so i can't say that for sure but i want to say it's close to global range but you can definitely do it on the same screen anywhere uh, on the on the screen so that's very good on top of that because she is a yukata unit she does have the ability to stun after x amount of ss3 so that is something that is very attractive about that scene on now, as y'all should know, or I hope you know, if you don't know, you know, you're new to the channel. I love the maid Sinon. When she first came out, I was amazed at how quickly her SS3s shoot off at just, you know, the overall maid Sinon in general. Now, she doesn't do anything special. She definitely isn't the best unit. She doesn't even, I believe she doesn't even have a combo window. If she does, I didn't see it. Uh, on her skill slots that you activate uh, she doesn't have a combo window she doesn't uh, you know isn't has no effects such as you know heal shield stun anything like that but man let me let me let me just show you uh, and she doesn't even have no ability so I don't even know why I like her that much hmm. but I'm gonna tell you this she's extremely fun to play so you come up here so okay well, I, get, I didn't even get to show y'all what happens. So, what she does is she's going to shoot her first arrow. And once that first arrow hits somebody, it'll continue going through until it goes off of the map. But, once it hits, let's say it hits this pop filter. Once it hits the pop filter, it'll leave a little green glowing tornado type of thing. And it'll just hit here. And it'll spin and it'll damage for a long time now if there are enemy units that are in the general vicinity it'll hit those units too that's why you were able to see me clear you know three or four mobs with one ss3 so that alone made me really really enjoy the uh made scene on now guys that's all i got for this video thank you so much for watching i hope this was a nice little insight for y'all as to which scene on units i believe are your top five that you want to go after and then your next honorable mentioned five scene ons thank you so much for watching let me know who y'all think i should do next i do have a, a pretty good idea but i'd just like for you to to let me know because you know you, you your opinion might have changed and i'll go to somebody else but if you haven't already guys be sure to like share comment and subscribe to the youtube channel to help make the dream become a reality also if you are subscribed be sure to turn on your notifications as you can see i'm getting a few of them right now also check out the description box where you can find links to my discord server my twitch stream my patreon page and last but not least any social media that you would like to blow my phone up during a video all free of charge <clears throat> like i said guys that's all i got for this one thank you so much for watching and as y'all know that's the fat lady singing. That's the bells are ringing. And until the next video, I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.